Hi, it's Akir channel here again. In my last recording, I show you how to replace the diode of the backlight in iPhone 6. At the end of uh, my last uh, repair tutorial, I turn off, turn on the telephone, and the backlight works. But in one moment of the video, you can and notice uh, that the display uh, was a little bit dim in the right corner in time the backlight was weaker and weaker uh, and at the end it stopped working so once again I have to figure out what happened to my phone I have replaced L1503 chip but uh, it doesn't work out as it should so I thought it could be a U1502 chip this chip uh, is a rather small part it has 12 balls with 4 balls are not connected you need to be very cautious when it comes to the at the soldering of the chip because uh, it is strongly uh, stick to the board by the adhesive strong adhesive which uh, is spilled around the chip and it really makes the soldering a hard job. Connection between the chip and the mainboard uh, is filled with, with a so-called underfill, which causes that the pins on the motherboard uh, can be easily uh, broken and lost. So it would be difficult to restore them and. Uh, in which case the, the main board is uh, going to the scraps and it's worth nothing. It is very useful to help yourself with a needle which makes the removing of the glue easier uh, as you can see on the recording um, I plug it off without the destroying the pads on the motherboard for this operation I use a BHA station and I set the temperature to 320 uh, celsius degrees after the soldering and um, the chip you need to clean the parts from the uh, the remnants of the the solder and uh, the remnants of the underfill i do not recommend to uh, use a special metal as plot to this job because it is easy uh, to lose the parts uh, big parts because of it if you have a possibility to buy a new chip, uh, it is uh, worth around five dollars, so it's uh, relatively cheap, and and you can buy it without the problem and um, making the disordering. Uh, you can also uh, take this chip from the motherboard of uh, iPhone five. S, and it is much more easier to desolder it because there is no adhesive there, no no underfill. So as you can see on the recording, this chip is rather standard. The balls are 0 0.25 millimeters, so you don't have any troubles to. The whole process. Uh, it's not so complicated um, what you have to do 
is to set the chip and uh, hot it with the hot air uh, you need to observe when the uh, chip is applied and adjust to the right place and that's all As you can see, the repair uh, is successful. Successful. Thanks for the watching. I uh, invite you to like this this job. Subscribe my channel. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.